Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play We Happy Few. I'm here with Spring of Dawn, and I uh, picked up this letter last episode. I didn't realize that I did. Uh, anyway, it's about the test of A329, the sample of the permanent solution we um, picked up. So it's to Dr. Verloc from Ronald Norrish. Uh, we have had mixed results of our first test of A329. The subject, Vanessa Tinkerbell, came to us presenting downer symptoms of melancholy and unpleasant memories. We're pleased to report this is no longer the case. There have been side effects, however. Tinkerbell was formerly one of the village's most, uh, foremost intellectuals. She now has difficulty with basic cognitive functions and exhibits obsessive behaviors. E.g., she runs around with her cell clapping, around her cell clapping her hands and seems to believe she can fly. Recommendation: Further research on A329 required. At a minimum, it should only be used on the most severe downer cases. Well, there's been a lot of bad joy lately. Maybe I can sneak past these gents without a fuss. Also, ever since uh, I did that one quest where I injected the woman with the crash syringe, that's way back out. All right. Um, every time I spawn in, he makes the same comment about like when I when I discovered her, he says something or said something, and uh, now he says that every time I spawn in. It's not the end of the world, but it is an annoying little bug. Back to Dr. Verloc's office. Funny. So I remember that time I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally, and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army, and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school. And he gave me such a thrashing. Why would I remember that right now? Well, maybe because I'm about to get beat up. Uh, A12 formula. Christ, Sally was in on the scheme. No, wait. She's being very nice about it, but she's not at all on board, is she? Hmm. The salamander seems to think Verloc's solution is a tad rash. Well, it's alarming, given what she considers reasonably cautious. All right, was that, uh, let's see, A12 formula. Darling, I took a peek at your new A12 formula, as you asked. So brilliant of you to look for a permanent solution, uh, given the shortages of supplies. Your plan to jam people's emotions on happy is quite daring. However, I have some teeny tiny concerns. A12 would be a bit of a lobotomy, wouldn't it? A patient would lose his melancholy, but also in many higher brain functions. Yes, yes, I know. You'll say I sound like Harry Haworth and with this brain talk, but do bear with me. You already complain this town is full of blithering idiots. Do we really want to reduce everyone to the intelligence of a gerbil? Just a thought. Love, Miss Boyle. Well, they won't need this, but I can use it. Hmm. Very cartoony lab. Ooh, I can lock that from this side. And another winning argument. I'll take that. Research. Uh, to General Bing from Harry Haworth. General, I must inform you that despite the initial success of our joy program, our supplies of the necessary ingredients will run out. Not necessarily soon, but sooner or later. Uh, at, least unless, at least unless the political situation changes and we can once again import them. May I suggest that we begin a secondary line of research. I've read some intriguing uh, phrenology studies that suggest the true source of happiness lies in physical manipulation of the brain. Perhaps we should use the breather we've given ourselves to pursue an electronic approach. Please advise. Hillary Roberts, odd name for a man. But who am I to judge? Alright, well, there we go. Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. <clears throat> no visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here who says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Verloc would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. Uh -oh. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am oh, weary with holding back. 
Alright. Oh man, this guy hits like a truck. You shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the lamb. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath, poured into the cup of his anger. Yeah, that fire damage is getting... Now Suck we it. see the violence inherent in the system. Locks office key card. Constable Turner. Well, there's a lot of Constable Turners. Ooh, lead pipe. I wonder if there's something I could have done here. Because I had a bunch of short spikes. Are they... Yeah. I wanted to turn off the smog. Okay. Well, that's fair. So I guess if you didn't come prepared like I did, I was already wearing a gas mask throughout this entire... Debacle. Well, let's go ahead and take care of everything. Don't know, I'm reactivating it on me, you know? This Bobby was huge though. Why was this guy so big? Man, I think I was. Yeah, it's a big, big Bobby. Now, let's go ahead and top off our health just to play it safe. Or at least close to it, yeah, because I have a lot of health now. I'm gonna change into my other thing. In case there's, you know, in case I ever get to see my face again. Ooh, what's that? Adulator. Oh. Neat. I guess it's a mask. But it would reduce suspicion by itself. I ask for a full battery of tests done on the latest isomer. Now, where is it? Why is it not in the pneumatic? Do any of you want to keep your jobs? <laughs> Goofed up. No, I shouldn't have changed that. All right, let's put this back on, and then I will take Crash because I believe we are currently on Joy. Have like you all replaced by Mrs. Packer's Bridge Club? They'll do a better job than you people. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Let's just kill my way through here. Shocking biology. Else. Got a new achievement. Hello? What's the time in the middle of you know, slaughtering everybody? Let's try out a new weapon. Uh, let's bring the axe. That's a lot of damage. It's nice. Can't we just agree to disagree? Alright, can't use that. That's fair. I'd hide in the dumpster. Yeah, if I wanted to be stealthy, but why? I basically have all the perks in the game. Oh, an unkillable juggernaut. Ah, let's just sneak up behind this guy. Ow, Walter, so I'm sorry. He's here doing his job, supporting his family or what have you. Might drop a couple of weapons like these like pipes I'm never gonna use. All right, and through the door. Yeah, this place looks like a villain's lair from like James Bond. Phenology. Was that supposed to be ironic? That brass is open. Nope. Murderer, pickpocket. Is that lady novelist or JD novelist? That's lady. Lady novelist, imbecile, and. Lady novelist again. That's odd. Alright, um let's get some food in our system. Boom. Sergeant! Sergeant! 
Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. Oh, where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. Okay, it's just the sort who would. Hey, I got the uh, opposite of that. I think it was Engineer, the book uh, that I was talking about earlier. There's only one copy of it. That means you don't need... Um, you don't need a workbench to make some of the more advanced stuff. Anyway, uh, chemical answer. Let's read about that. Uh, to Harry Haworth from General B. Dear sir, as you know, our citizens have become dispirited due to some unfortunate incidents during the war. I believe your laboratory could be of service in restoring morale. When examining the German camp, we discovered that German soldiers were given fatigue pills that contained uh, amphetamines and opo opioids, which contributed greatly to their esprit de corps. It turns out that's how their men were able to punch through our lines again and again. We're wondering how it was they never seemed to sleep. I believe the answer to our problems may be chemical. I believe you might be the hero we need now. I'm aware that this will inconvenience your own research, but as the other great Napoleon fighters said, England expects that every man will do his duty. Okay. Fascinating. I should enjoy request request. Was that not? I must be one that we already had. I uh, know I can press the button. Right. Hello. I'm in a haunted house movie. Ooh, this is a nice, very swanky office. A memory. Listen. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know? She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. <laughs> Chemistry questions. Dear Dr. Verlock. Thank you so much for showing me your laboratory when I visited with Mr. Adams. As you can imagine, it was very exciting for a girl from a small chemist shop. I myself have been training to become a chemist and have learned pretty much everything Mr. Adams has to teach me. I wonder if I might come by your laboratory sometime to ask you um, about more advanced chemistry questions. It would be such a privilege to learn from a really advanced scientist. Sincerely, Sally Boyle. Mm -hmm. Dr. Verloc seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil? Probably up there. The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that little giggle at the end.
Oh, wait. This one's open. Why is he keeping Sally's cod liver oil? It's the only reason I'm in this hideous place. I saw the cod liver oil, but let's finish exploring before, uh... Before I'm forced out of here. Toasted chicory. Oh, yeah. yam. Electrolock shocker. If it's in here, I feel like there's gonna be a something I can electrolock shock, right? All right, let's grab that. And thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. Dr. Haworth. Uh, all right, to General Bing from Anton Verloc, PhD. I hope you will not think a mere research chemist is out of the line in contacting you, but I am frankly concerned about Dr. Haworth. Despite Joy's great success, he has begun allocating resources toward his study of phrenology, a laughably discredited 19th century pseudoscience. Indeed, he talks of little else when he thinks no one can hear him. I'm not suggesting he's actually sabotaging the factory. The recent, the recent shortages are the result of mix-ups that anyone could have made. But I know you share my concern about the importance of our work to Wellington Wells, and he won't listen to me or anyone, anybody else. Uh, anybody else, yeah. Uh, what do you recommend we do? Because I haven't seen... Because that was... Was that Verloc or was that, uh... Haworth upstairs that we were talking to? Uh, to the new secretary. I hope you have better success in this job than I did. You should know that Dr. V is most insistent that all traces of a certain woman be expunged from the laboratory. If you ask me, she who must be not... She who must not be named has the brains behind this whole operation. Was the brains behind this whole operation. It hasn't been the same since she left. Dr. V will ask you for information that is in her notes, but you can't give him one of her notes. Oh no, else you'll be stacked like me. I've hidden her papers in the storage room and the computer room, which used to be her office, so you can get uh, so you can get them without his knowing. It's complicated, but I'm sure you'll manage. Good luck, Betty. P.S. Dr. V also gets his knickers in a knot if you nip some of his good scotch. Just a word to the wise. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Alright, and away we go. I'm also a little thirsty. Let's drop this stuff. I don't need any rotten stuff in my inventory. This goes back to that room that was locked previously, where they were working. I think it's actually this room right here. So I was out there, looking in. Don't need a lead pipe. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. I thought it was another side passage. Oh, that smells awful. This is where they flushed the chemicals. That's okay. I've got my gas mask going. And a backup. Drain? To where? The river? Might be a way out. I don't mind pausing in the river. Not that anything's alive in it now. Oh, gross. Start to walk into stuff? Bunch of dead bodies in here. With a lot of joy pills. Uh, that's the way out, so it's over here. Did they fall in? Or were they pushed? Or were they flushed? Probably flushed. Bad to guess. Plenty of joy though. A hatch. Lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Nothing to see here. Okay. Well, we're going to go give Sally the cod liver oil. Let's change our...
Okay, well, that was anticlimactic on the way out. It's very quiet. I feel like something's gonna happen. How have you been? I hope the baker comes back to the day. Hi, right, Sally. On my way. A lot of stamina. It's just because I finally used those uh, drugs. It gave me a permanent boost. I should probably actually start reading the uh, item descriptions of everything that I pick up. If I go through the front door this time. This way's faster. Doesn't seem so. After nearly getting me killed, she better have my bloody letter of transit. So? Sally? Salamander? If she's not here, I swear to God I'll kill her. Hi. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Oh, you're a lifesaver. It's a Bloody souvenir. God, it's awful. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. How are you holding up? What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want. Always what you need. Every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Do you really th think I'm that awful? What, just because you fucked my dad while you were living in our house, in my mum's bed? I'm sorry. Look, I don't hate you. In the strangest way, you're completely innocent. You're practically the only one I know who is. It's on the dresser there. Are you going to be okay? I could take you with me. Really? We have to go now. The joy's gone bad. It's going crazy out there. I can't go right now. Why? Oh, God. No. It's not simple. It never is. We'll have to wait till dawn. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. Look, there's something I haven't been entirely straight with you about. Oh. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Okay. She really meant it. The kiss and all. What if I went back and said, yes, yes, I'll take you, and they lived happily ever after? Well, they've got. Oh, a girl like that shipwrecks, and the next day she's drinking margaritas under palm trees, and you'll suffer for shocks. That is it. Never again. Yeah, she doesn't sound like a uh, very stand up girl. You know, granted. I mean, she could be been like mentally abused. Supposedly, her mom tried to poison her and everything. So I'm sure there's some underlying reasons. Um, oh, you're allowed to cross with the prey district. That was easy. I'm an awful person, but what should I have done? Should I have turned around and said yes? Uh, yes, I will. Yes, come with me. We'll go at dawn. Whatever you say. I always used to wonder if I'd run out the door after her that day. What would have happened to us? Would we still be friends, or was the magic all in my head? Who am I kidding? 16 year old me would never have had the courage to leave home. And here I am running out the door when she wants to come with. Not entirely unlike what I did to Percy. I wonder what lies I'll tell myself about her later. Am I really doing this for Percy? Is that just another convenient lie? Because I needed a reason to go off Joy? And he was the only one I could come up with? What if she is utterly sincere? What if she honestly does want me, and love me, and need me? Do I have utterly no faith left in anyone? And she'd survive and I'd get killed. A girl like her shipwrecks the next day she's drinking margarita. Yeah. It was truly a shark bait. I can't. I just can't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your joy in me. Yeah, well, they have they have a very checkered history. It seems checkered past together. I don't have enough for the last perk yet. Need three more skill points.
Which I think is what the, uh, the hive mind rewards me, right? That doesn't tell me. Maybe honey's the only reward the hive mind gives me. Oh well, let's uh, head to the prey district and then once we reach the prey district, we might call it an episode. My husband stayed a really long time. Actually, can I get back to the? No, we're at the prey district. The next episode. I'm gonna go check on Miss, uh, Mrs. Oliphant because she mentioned something about her not being there when I come back. I wonder if I can go back. Or maybe it was just part of the uh, the thing. But I thought I read online somewhere that there's something you could do there. I mean, I, I didn't mean to. It was, it was an accident. I don't like spoiling things for myself. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. We'll give it a shot. We'll head back to the newspaper office. We'll exp uh, see if we can get it inside of our office. If we can't, well, I'll call it an episode. And if we can, we'll explore it. And then in the next episode, we'll head to the, uh, the parade. Two. Now Here. boarding on platform four, the Shoggoth Express. Stopping at Dunwich in. To the train. I'd really love to know why that particular bend smells of cheese. I just have enough to buy a. No, I don't. And all the towns you mentioned, they were also Easter eggs. I mean, obviously Arkham. I think Innsmouth, that's the, uh... H.P. Lovecraft story, right? Shadow, Shadow over Innsmouth? I believe is what it's called. Uh, Dunwich is, uh... Actually, I don't know what Dunwich is. I know it's in Fallout, and it's like a horror side quest uh, building. I don't actually know where the newspaper article or newspaper place is. Did I go past it? Oh, son of a gun. It's back here. But yeah, I read, uh, I didn't read too far into it, but I think there's, I'm supposed to be able to get back inside of her office and um, there should be something in there for me. So I'm going to go give that a shot. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what I'm supposed to find in there, but um, might be a memory. I don't know if that's what I read or not. I don't know. My God, it's all boarded up. Ah, see. What happened? I'll have to break in somehow. Oh, Maybe sorry. I can find some answers in some. Thank you, Internet, because I probably would have thought to uh. Oh, I am right chuffed to know the constabulary is a priest behaving. Someone's ransacked the place. I hope Mrs. Oliphant got away. Okay, cool. Thank you, Internet. Because again, I probably would have come back here to check it without reading it on the Internet. You mustn't go around publishing the truth. What will people think? Right? Is that some sort of secret door? Oh. How do I open it? Oh, with the cat picture prop, or with the uh, cat statue. There's also a picture. Encrypted note. Let's read it. Okay. Well, it's in some sort of code. Hmm. I don't think that's Gemma's handwriting. All right. Um. Rotate. Let's see, there's also cat pictures. There's. Three cat pictures. I don't know if they have anything to do with the puzzle or not. Um, maybe they ought to be facing the door? I don't know. Alright. Easy way to solve the puzzle is rotate one one way. Then rotate the other ones. Oh no, ah, that's too many, that's too many combinations. Um, Oh, 
this one's black, white, and green, maybe? Or gray? Okay, yeah. I got this, I got this. White one should be facing that way, right? This way that painting's facing. Uh, black one should be facing straight ahead. And the gray one should be facing to the right, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe this one should be facing towards the wall. This back is to me, right? Or maybe, like, the... This one should be facing to the left. Oh! Okay, yeah, it's the direction you're facing. Like, when you look at it, he's facing to the left. This cat is facing away from you. You look at the painting. It should be hanging, hanging there anyway. And this one should be facing to the right when you look at it. Oh, that wasn't too complicated. Lost scrap. So this is where she published the unpleasant issue. Thanks, Alexandra, for last week's dinner party. I'm not happy I didn't discover this on my own, but I am glad that I did discover it. Ooh, inventory expansion. Suspected downers. Let's read. Um... So this is a list of all these suspected downers. Oh no, these are the uh, these are the Kickstarters. Yeah, this is a list of all the uh, the Kickstarter names. I'm willing to bet. Because it should be the seven thousand, uh, like four hundred and thirty-three or something. Yeah, and it just keeps going. Yeah, guarantee that's the uh, that's what that is. I start with Article One. Ooh, the Sandman. He looks terrifying. It's like so straight out of Mad Max. Uh, Article One. Uncle Jack appears to have disappeared. The old current has been monitoring Uncle Jack's recent shows and found that all episodes of his live broadcasts are actually repeats. For example, three times in the past month, Uncle Jack has read us the same bedtime story of The Pied Piper. Twice his cooking show, That Tastes Delicious, What Is It, has featured the episode about things you can eat that aren't really food. The repeat episodes raise a troubling question. Where is Uncle Jack if he's not in the studio? Is he still alive? Or a downer? Has he gone on holiday as we like to say when we're talking about someone dying? When was his last live show? Reporters have attempted to contact the executive committee in this regard, but the EC continued on page 5. Uh, joy Quality Plunging Since 1951, citizens of Wellington Wells have relied on the Haworth Labs joy to avoid melancholy. Recently, however, the joy coming out of Haworth Labs appears to have plunged in quality. Some of it is weak, some of it has peculiar effects, causing some citizens to find they can no longer take joy and become downers against their will. If you feel like you might possibly have fewer neighbors, you may be right. The Garden District population has swelled. Several proper citizens reporting odd side effects from joy have received letters inviting them to take part in a clinical study at Haworth Labs. None of them have been seen since. Years ago, Harry Haworth cautioned that the village would eventually run out of the raw chemical stocks needed to create joy. These stocks were left by the Germans after the victory. Concerning the nature of the victory, see victory on page 8. A special Eau Courant investigation reveals that Haworth Labs has now exhausted its supplies of these stocks. Curr currently, joy appears to be made made, using substitute ingredients derived from local plants and fauna. There are rumors that Dr. Verloc has a permanent solution in the works. He refuses to discuss what this might be, but in any event, his credibility is roughly continued on page 2. Article 3. Uh, Foggy Jack is a real killer. How often, as curfew hour approaches, do we wellies joke, go inside or Foggy Jack will get you? The Oak Courant believes our legendary boogeyman is actually a real person, and a real murderer. Murderer, probably. Uh, a number of citizens have gone missing uh, after walking in the fog at night. In the past year, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, and Catherine Eddowes were all found to have gone on holiday after venturing out after curfew and thick fog. Their holiday announcements all claimed they had been uh, carelessly running with scissors at the time of their deaths. In fact, their bodies were hacked to bits. 
Theo Courant can now report in addition the missing Marys, Mary Jane Kelly and Mary Ann Nichols, whose return from Gibraltar, we have been told to expect, were also last seen on the evening of a pea super. They too were found to have been hacked to pieces. It is unclear whether the constabula constia constabulary is actually investigating Foggy Jack, as they literally laughed at this reporter when asked about him. But continued on page four. So I've read one, two, and three. This is five, and this is the final issue. Where is four? Oh, here it is. Modeling explosion in Scargill Mine. Train tracks severely damaged. Last week, citizens in the vicinity of the village's main modeling facility noticed a loud explosion. Authorities were quick to announce that no explosion had taken place. However, the entrance to Apple Home Station was immediately closed and has remained closed ever since. Moreover, this reporter observed toxic fumes rising from the train station. Authorities refused to speculate what effects this might have on the modeling pumping system, which, on which all our mechanical devices depend. A secondary concern is the village's transportation system. Despite documented warnings by engineering staff, Scargo Mining dug its tunnels directly beneath the train tracks that lead to the Britannia Bridge. While these tracks are no longer currently being used, the damage means that they will not be usable in the future, which will make it more difficult for citizens to continue on page 2. <sighs> Bridge trade has ceased. Authorities have promised that shipments of vegetables and meat will revive shortly. But an Okoran investigation has revealed that trade has utterly stopped over the Britannia Bridge. It's difficult to obtain ex explanations why, but there is some evidence that Wellington Wells no longer has anything that the few remaining farmers on the outskirts of the former suburbs want. This reporter found a note from one would-be outside trader. Your bonkers, I offered to trade a cow for a silk parachute to make a tent, but you gave me a fancy silk suit instead. How the expletive deleted? Do I make a roof out of that? Insults deleted. A survey of the village's food gardens uh, reveals that almost all are growing ornamental flowers. It is unclear if there is any food coming into Wellington Wells at all, which means that the food supply will soon inevitably continue on page 3. Final issue. Dear Reader, we at the Ocaron owe you, our readers, an apology. For 15 years, we've concealed and softened the real news of Wellington Wells to avoid making people unhappy. We do not want to be responsible for anyone becoming a downer, but we do have a civic responsibility to tell the truth, and we are telling it now, knowing full well this may be our last issue of the Ocaron. Margaret Oliphant, editor, uh, Truth is Beauty, this is all you need to know. So I guess she published all those articles in one go, and they came and they got her. So, this whole area, this whole map is Wellington Wells. And supposedly, on the other side of the Britannia Bridge, which I'm assume, assuming is on the other side of the parade, somewhere, leads to the rest of England, which maybe everywhere else in England is normal. Like, they're not on Joy or whatever. Like, this is just a... Its own little, like, uh, biome. Its own little civilization dependent on Joy. Maybe the rest of the world is fine. It's normal. But we still don't know what the atrocity was with the kids that made, um... Everyone start taking Joy. So I'm wondering... what that was um, yeah I wonder what caused that like I'm, I mean I'm sure they'll explain it been, oh geez Louise um, I wonder if those are the people that used to work in here and then when I took care of the door they there you are. You flat. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to call it here. And uh, hopefully the next episode, the episode after, we'll find out more about uh, what's going on here. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next episode.